quick video someone contacted me saying they had a bunch of sequences as fsceq files they happened to just contain some singing faces and they wanted to convert them into actual effects in an x light sequence and so i thought i would quickly run through how you might go about doing that it's not for the faint heart i don't think this has got wide applicability but if you're in that situation and you desperately need to get the data out of an fsceq file this is one way to do it. In this case, it's singing faces, so it's, it's only a few tens of channels. So the first thing you want to do is come to your layout and throw down a channel block because we need something to import it into and we're going to want to see the individual channels. So a channel block's really good at that and we'll make it 64 channels just to uh, be on the safe side to make sure that we've got enough of them. Now what we need to do is create a sequence. Uh, in this case, uh, it's just going to be an animation. Uh, the frame rate, look, ideally it would match the underlying sequence. I must admit I don't really know what they are. I'm going to assume they're 20 frames a second. And rather than jumping to quick start or anything, we're going to do a couple of things here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to extend this out to five minutes. I have no idea how long these songs actually are. So five minutes will make sure that it's at least long enough to fit everything in. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a data layer, and this is where I actually will bring in the FSCQ file. So here's a whole bunch of them. Um, I'm going to pick one that's a reasonable size here. Do, you, do they know it's Christmas? Let's um, take a copy of that name so that we remember what it was. And it's done. Uh, and what that's done is it's brought it in as a data layer. Now, data layers are quite old school. Very few people use them anymore. So let me talk to you a little bit about what they've done. So what they've done is they've actually brought the data in. And if you drill into the channel block and you drill into the stands, you can see here's the actual data. Now, these are not effects. You can't touch them. You can't move them. This is a data file that underlies the sequence and is included. And if I click play, it would actually play. He says, thinking that he probably should have rendered. No, there it is. The lights are flicking on and off. So the data is there and it will play. But what he wanted was he wanted to convert all of these things into effects so that he could start moving them around and putting them on other models. And that is actually really trivial to do. The first thing you want to do is come up to the channel block and you want to convert everything to effects. And if you watch carefully, that's actually gone and created effects for each one of these. Now, the problem is, is these things are down on the strand no, node level, and you really want to be bringing them up to the strand level so that you can see them all. And again, you can achieve that by clicking on the channel block and promoting the node effects. And that moves them all up onto the, uh, the strands. And so now uh, you can go and copy these around, or there's another video I made some time ago about how to take channel data and convert it into a lyric track, which means, of course, you can then use the lyrics uh, for any purpose. But yeah, that's it. Very simple way to bring an FSCQ file in, convert everything to effects. Now, of course, it's channel data, right? So it's just ons and offs. Uh, in this case, because it was lyrics, it's literally just either all on or all off. But it could be colors. Well, no, it couldn't be colors because we're bringing in channel data. But it could be fades and the like, so it could go up and down. Uh, but hopefully, yeah, if that's what you need to do, if you need to bring in the FSCQ data and see it as effects so that you can copy and paste them and edit them, that's how you do it. Once you've done this and you've converted it all into effects, if you come up here and, and you drag this effect, let's say, over a little bit. Oh, let's shorten it down. Oh, oh okay, that's why I'm having trouble. If we start shortening things down, or even if I went in now and started to delete these effects. What, one of the things that you'll notice if you render again is the effects will come back. And the reason these effects have come back is because the data file or the data layer is still there. And so once you've converted everything into effects, one of the things that you probably will want to do is come up to sequence settings, 
go to those data layers and this data layer which is the FSCQ file you're probably going to want to delete that and when you delete that that underlying data has gone away and only the effects remain and so now you get that blank area where we went and deleted it so yeah having imported the effects and converted them and promoted them you'll then want to run that data layer delete to get rid of the underlying data so that when you move these effects around things disappear thanks Thank you.